ladies and gentlemen, that was the Tokyo Ghoul re-ending. And we are here to do a slight bit more Dark War. Likely there's going to be no gameplay inside this video. So I just kind of wanted to go over some things inside the game. Also, I'm going to turn this down because it's fucking loud. Um, but I want to go over some things inside the game. And why we're probably not be covering this game for too much longer. First of all, I, I do respect that we got compensation for the uh, extended maintenance that just happened. However, I personally feel like the maintenance didn't really do much. I mean, obviously it was for the sort of sake of trying to fix the equipment issues. Um, but the main thing that happened inside the game was in the organization trial uh, thing, in the shop, they added a new character in Corona Yasuhisa. I'm gonna buy five of her pieces, but obviously I won't be able to unlock her inside this video, and you probably won't be unlocking her for a little while because I... Eh. Uh, I'm gonna do a reset here, just to be able to get some more pieces, because that's always a nice idea. You know, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. I don't even care. Hey, we have Corona. Cool. We get to show her off inside this video because honestly, I'm mostly done with this game for the most part. Uh, so I, I've looked further into the update that I discussed in a couple videos ago and kind of what it's all about. And I've decided that I'm not a huge fan of the direction the game is going. So while I was a person that was defending uh, the whole pay-to-play aspect of the game, I have realized that some of the aspects that they have been adding is definitely not going in the right direction. Uh, first of all, inside the game, also I'm, I'm just trying to get things out of the way right now. First of all, inside the game, they added a new kind of equipment in Coakley in the way of red equipment. So this red equipment is easily stronger than any other equipment in the, in the game. However, you can only get it via using Coakley points and these red shards for the pieces of this. I actually don't know how many you need to get a red piece of equipment, but likely it is quite a few. So, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. And these rare gems, these red gems, are only available via diamonds, I believe, from the VIP shop for 90 a piece. Which is a pretty high amount. Obviously, you would take a while to actually get up to getting red equipment, so it would take you a long while to actually get to that point in the game. However, for people that are on the ranking boards now, basically the only people that are going to be in the top 10 of a server are people that are able to access the red equipment using their money. So you can see here, the top person inside the server has not one single piece of um, red equipment here. Same here, and same for everyone inside the game, because shit is hard to get, and once you actually get to the point where you need to get it, it's going to be strictly for people that are pay to... I don't want to say pay to win, because that, that that term is so gross. But it's going to be for people who spend a lot of money inside the game and in turn get a lot of benefits back. Unless we're able to grind out the rare gems from some sort of event, it's going to be a complete game breaker for anyone in the late game. Now I am quite curious as to see why the people on the top of the server don't have red equipment, whether it takes a metric fuck ton of Coakley points and rare gems to the point where these people who have already spent probably so much money inside the game haven't gotten it yet, or the fact that getting 215 stars or above in Coakley is just that hard. And I honestly don't know what the case would be. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do a little calculation here. I'm gonna pull up my cal my calculator. You can't see it, sadly, but um. So okay, at stage 60 with all the stars, I have 180. So 180. So, uh, naturally, we can say that 180 
times or divided by three is 60, right? So what if we do uh, 215 divided by three? So you need to get to stage 71 with three stars, which would be roughly about here, which actually isn't that much higher than where I currently am. So I imagine the main issue for them isn't that, it's mainly the rare gems. So not horrible, I suppose. It's not as bad as I expected, but it's still sketch. And mostly inside the game, most of the things seem like they're going in a really weird direction. Uh, I'm not sure if this VIP search thing is going to be the new limited time draw event. And likely I'm going to be playing this game on the side, alongside Tokyo Ghoul War Age, to see if limited time draw event that is going to be released is going to be this Ryoku, or the, the VIP search that they have here, or if it's going to be added as another event later. The, the company, Game Samba, has not made a single announcement or statement towards this, so it doesn't bode well in my mind, at least. But of course, we'll see later when things actually happen. Tatara, or Tatara. Fuck, that, that was painful. Tsukiyama, those are the two supports I don't have, and obviously I can't get any of the other characters here. I don't know if Cory is available yet, actually. Arena Shop, oh shit, okay. Well, I could only, if I do use all of my attempts here uh, at refreshing, I could only get 15 pieces. Not really too worth it for now, but I guess Ui is alongside Arima inside the thing there. Makes sense. I'm actually curious. Cory, by the way, Cory is male. I made that mistake in the last video and I'm sorry about that. I just wanted to point that out. Um... Yeah, okay, so your your connections are actually not that bad either. It's Rima Narukami, Juzo, Hoji, Iwao, and Shinohara. Basically all the CCG characters that are not meta, <laughs> if, if that makes sense. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and try out Corona here. Um, and no, I'm not talking about the alcohol. And we're going to see how this goes. Um, we have, in fact, seen... Oh, shit, I can do this. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, do it. I'll take it. Uh, but yeah, we haven't actually seen what her abilities... Well, we have seen, for the most part, her skill things. I'll, I'll go through it quickly once again. Deal damage to an enemy in front sector, add attack speed reduction, or add attack speed reduction effect to target. Cool. Stab with Kugune twice, deal damage to enemies in a straight line with half a chance to remove debuffs to all enemies. Pushing a healing ball towards enemies that will bounce the, between the enemy or between, al or between teammates to give allies healing, basically. Um, so we're gonna go check this out. Oh, one more thing I want to mention before I even go even any further. Um, so last night, I was doing, uh, the, the gold draws, okay? I blew all of the gold that I had on the gold draw. Just kept on doing it over and over because I want to get more pieces for the characters that I have and be able to max them out. However, once I ran out of gold... No, it wasn't that. I need to use all my gold here, because I need to actually show this. Alright, so here's where- uh, you know what? Real quick. Let's just go to my, my gloves here, use all the stuff I can on it so I don't have anything more. I, I need to use more. Go. No. Fuck. Go away. I need to use any money I can. Please. Just I anything. Go. Cool. Okay, so I was doing the draw. No, they changed it last night, actually. What I'll do is I'll put a screenshot on screen now, then, of what happened last night. So, when I went to do a gold draw, the menu popped up, which said, buy gold. And the one we see here, when I click this, has cancel on the left and accept on the right. However, once the thing popped up last night, what popped up was... On the right side, gold times one. And on the left side, gold times ten. And me, trying to click cancel and close the menu, because I don't want to buy gold, clicked times ten. And lost a bunch of gems for it. So that was pretty shitty. But you know what? That's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, we're going to go to... Okay, 
here's what we're gonna do. So I am going to. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna replace Arima Ixa with Corona. I'm going to put Arima Ixa in the third slot. And we're gonna try and do a ghoul event and see how that goes for now. Um, EXP sounds fine, honestly. So let's try that. Because the main thing here is I just want to test her out and see what she can do and what her abilities will actually end up doing. Also, she actually looks really cool. I like the way she runs. She's like Naruto. So her first is a single jab, which re reduces attack speed, which does work on the skills of the EXP event character. Oh, shit. Okay, let's try out her third. Okay, so it bounces between ca all characters on stage. It doesn't just bounce once to each person. It actually does go back and forth. And I guess if she's closer, she would end up doing um, more heals to herself as well. So, like, for example, if I if I walk up and do this... No, it actually doesn't bounce to her. It only bounces the other characters. It hits her when it first comes out, and then bounces four times. So, heal, 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 and then it goes and stops. Makes sense. It, it's kind of weird and goofy in a way, but... I could see it being very helpful in the PvP for a double heal. Especially because, like... During the time where it bounces the other character, they could be taking a bunch of damage and then healing it back afterwards anyway. So it's not actually a huge deal. Huh. I do like that, actually. I do like the way she plays. Plus, attack speed debuffs are always fantastic. They're always, like, the MVP of most things. And besides, like, she is putting in work here. Obviously, she's taking a bunch of damage, and I... You know what? Let's go ahead... But hopefully, they don't kill her or the person we're fighting beforehand, does she heal when she pops this? Very slightly. However, it does bounce back to her if she's not at full health. Okay, so it's based on characters that don't have uh, maximum health. That's why I wasn't bouncing back to her in the first place. That is actually really effective. Oh, shit. Huh. I think she could actually be really good. Obviously, I'm not going to be playing this all that often, but I think I am happy with getting her. Hmm. I'll take it. She also bonds with really good characters. Uh, and she's a MT, so it's... Or support. She's a support character. Yeah, she is. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I think she actually might be the new party member I want to use instead of Hinami, but we'll see shortly. Um, her bonds are really good. And Kaneki is someone you should invest in either way. Juzo armor is just solid. And the one I ghoul is Eto and Kaneki, which usually I've already invested in beforehand. Huh. Interesting. Well, hey, Corona's all right, I suppose. But yeah, I, I'm. What I wanted to go ahead and say in this video, uh, in general, at, at the at this end phase, is, hey, I'm I'm probably not gonna be playing this all that often, from from now on, just because I have another game I want to play, and like, this game in particular. I feel like there's going to be a lot of issues regarding the aspects of putting money into it. Because from what I've heard from other people, it seems like the other game, the fairy tale game that Game Samba put out, was completely pay to play. Like, you, you couldn't get anywhere without paying money. And I'm afraid that's where this game is trying to go. And if so, I feel like I'm just going to be tossed way far behind anyone else and while i don't care about progression all that much it is kind of scary to the idea of like completely being taken out of the experience by the way if if you topped up to vip 12 i suppose i'm not sure if you'd be able to get this now hmm because those seem like really important and vip 12 is a really far way to go and what if someone went there already and then didn't get these items? Because I actually don't know if it would give you it anyway, but that seems like a really bad thing. That's Champion Shoes as well as Rima Ixa, Raid Necklace, and Ultimate Havoc, and the Gloves and Morbus Pieces. Interesting. So they swapped out the uh, VIP rewards as well to make them better. But it's kind of sketch. Hey, if you, if you put $2,000 in the game, you can get all red equipment. Have fun. But yeah, I'm... I'm low-key turned off right now. 
uh, turned off of the game right now, but we'll see in the future how things will progress. I'm I'm Wait, sketch, no, but we'll, we'll see. Um, that's it for now. I will be covering any updates that happen, but likely we're not going to be having any casual gameplay videos for the next little while inside the game while it's in this transitionary period into the future. But yeah, that's that's it. Bye.